Good morning, beautiful people. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to another episode of Life of an Entrepreneur. I have no idea what I'm going to title this video because it should be fairly long, jam packed with a ton of different things. But right now, guys, what's going on in this moment is my ATM machine is literally broken. All right, y'all. So I made it back to the house. So basically, what I was saying on the way was I want to go refill the tattoo shop location and I can't get into the machine. I'm really not mad at it. And let me tell you why. So I was supposed to film this morning, but I didn't start. I'm filming right now solely because of that situation. I have an ATM business, the ATM machine is broken. I gotta replace a part. Of course, God knew I was gonna get the content filmed. I just bought equipment to film with. I don't know, it's just like not a coincidence, right? It it just cohesively flows together. So shout out to my God. But anyways, y'all, maybe I can just try to put some WD-40 on it. And <laughs> maybe it's just jammed. I have no clue, right? Y'all are finding out literally like 20 minutes after I found out. So I'm in transition right now so I haven't like set up this space I need my space to be like cohesive and like productive to make me want to work you know so I, I'm gonna go to the storage today to get my keyboard and my iPad holder just office supplies basically and then I also bought some new lighting I'm not mad at the quality of this mic I'm sure I'll upgrade soon but I just needed um new like wind puffs also needed a new clip i ordered that as well so got a film and video on how to refill the atm machine i withdrew this cash days ago i didn't get that done and i didn't get the vlogging done God puts this dilemma in my way to now where I have to now get two videos done, y'all, that 100% would not have gotten done. That sort of like trial didn't happen. I really urge y'all to look at things on the bright side, y'all. It really is much more helpful than being like, oh my goodness, my ATM is broken. What am I gonna do? Like, you know, stay tuned. Let's go. Good morning, team. Beautiful people. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We are at the Dollar Tree. I came to return some items, y'all. I have a whole host of items that I got for the office that did not end up working out. Can y'all believe that these are a dollar, y'all? One freaking dollar. I got one in black, and I got some marble sets, like this marble tray. These wall canvas paintings, y'all. How cute is that? I got three of these. You can literally deck out your space from the Dollar Tree. The reason I am even shopping for stuff y'all is because i'm in transition i'll link the video in the cards and down below my last video where i kind of spoke on it it was like homeless in the title y'all people thought i was like legitimately homeless i should have said houseless i think i've now changed it but i'm basically in transition from renting to purchasing a home and i didn't want to get back into a full year lease because like my mind is set and I know it's in God's plan for me to purchase. That is why I am doing Airbnb. I was not expecting it to be this long. I was literally in my head expecting like 90 days, but obviously I was super naive. Like, yeah, it didn't really happen. <laughs> We're at like the sixth month now, I believe, maybe even longer, six or seven months. The place that I'm at now, I'm not leaving again. I'm gonna stay there until um, I purchase. Um, so I was like, I really need to make it my own. I want to feel productive. I want to feel creative. I want to have like a set workspace, a set office space, a set filming space, you know? And that is what today's video is going to be about. Subscribe, y'all, if you are not already. If you are enjoying the video thus far, guys, make sure to give your girl a thumbs up. Oh, grr. y'all so here's my little corner that i have to work with floating shelves i guess those were also from the dollar tree this lamp i already had it's just a black and white lamp from my bedroom prior to moving 
this black easel was also from the Dollar Tree. This roll-on chair that does not match at all <laughs> was already here. I actually do really like this desk. It's like a lot of space. These are just candle holders and I actually am gonna put some things in there. It's also not 100% finish all. I just wanted to do something simple again. It's just temporary just to have like a film space. Super duper simplistic. This is where I used to film. This is the view that y'all would see. I would sit in that chair and film up against the wall. Here is this gigantic studio. What do you call it? It's not an umbrella light. This is my tripod that I use with my phone. That was the quick little temporary office tour, I guess you can kind of call it, um, until I move. And I also put this up with double stick tape, y'all. Can y'all believe that? This really just goes to show you, you can use what you have, y'all. You Don't look at these other YouTubers in these super expensive film studios, like, especially if you're not even making money on YouTube like I am not monetized yet i am this close to getting monetized actually i'm lying i do make money on youtube from other things but not from the youtube partner program doesn't make sense for me to invest so much so i'm just using what i have y'all hey guys okay so i just finished filming a video and i thought what better time to add to the vlog footage if y'all know that that phrase tell god your plans and he laughs at you or something like that <laughs> so very true so I did all of that. I'm not there anymore. I don't know if you guys can tell <laughs> by my background. Definitely not there. So I wanted to give y'all a quick tour of uh, my filming setup right now. I wouldn't even call it a filming setup. I'm literally, it's just in the bedroom that I'm staying in. So I ended up moving from the last Airbnb to another Airbnb. Long story on why I ended up moving. It's coming up on a year, guys, that I've been in Airbnbs. Can you believe it? A full year being in Airbnbs. It's crazy, but... I honestly wouldn't trade it for anything and the reason it's taking so long guys is because i'm not purchasing like a single family home right i live in a fairly small town so it's just not that much inventory you know so it'll be like a duplex that comes up maybe like once a month but it may be old or not approved for that amount that's what's taking so long but i have a feeling god has been sending me so many messages that it's about to happen very 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 soon and I'm ready to get the hell out these Airbnbs. So <laughs> anyways, let me show you guys. Well, first of all, there's my tripod. Very simple. Film with my phone. So it just has a phone holder. I was sitting down in this chair, but I didn't like the footage. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to stand up. I always take notes with all my videos. I just filmed this video. Um, top three vending machine locations. Y'all remember this little stand that I was using? Y'all can use what you have, y'all. This is all the space I have to work with. It was very, very, very hard. It's literally just a desk it was in that corner um but i didn't like just being plain behind me i just scooted over literally through these are glasses from the kitchen y'all <laughs> when i tell you you really have to be creative y'all and make it work this literally was already in the airbnb but i wanted to do two different lights instead of just doing one in the middle so i was like yeah i kind of like how it merges together that is the full setup just the tripod, my studio light, and then this is what you guys see behind me. 